today we'll talk about is the L2 border handoff. L2 border handoff is uh, is going to provide the overlay service between the SD access and the traditional network. It allows the host and the both to communicate, which is via L2. In this case, the L2 handoff will exist for the CLAB VN2. I have host here in the CLAB VN2, and I also have a host in the legacy transitional network. In this case, the L2 handoff link will bridge the traffic between the two. So you can tell L2 handoff is playing a crucial role in migrating the traditional switching network to the fabric. The host in the traditional network can be remained in the place in the traditional network where the communication and interaction are still attested for the for the SDA with the endpoints in the in the fabric and you don't have to re-IP the client in the traditional network. This is the process to slowly migrate your traditional network to SDA. These two host or client will exist in the same network, which is 172.16.3.0. And this client will also get uh, an IP phone list range. So we call it a handoff. The handoff is not supported on the edge. We support it on the border. Therefore, we need a dedicated border node. And this border node must be operating in a transparent mode for VTP to avoid any unintended modification of the uh, the traditional network's VLANs. Also in this case, you cannot use few VLAN, it's VLAN 1, 102, to 105, 2045, to 2047, and also 3000 to 3500. So in my case, I pick to use VLAN 999. So you may want to ask, where is my gateway? The gateway will be here, SVI. It will be a any cast gateway. And the same thing will happen on the border and the edge. So both your clients in this VLAN or this VN will go this to the gateway for the external communication. So let's do it. Well, first you'll make sure is your border device row. Click the border, action, inventory, and in inventory, you make sure your device row is a distribution. Make the focus on provisioning. And you will find out your border is a distribution. So you can go ahead to add it as border to as a border nodes in the fabric.
find a border to make edit. As soon as you click the border node, you will actually choose is L3 handoff or is a L2 handoff. We will choose L2 handoff. The L2 handoff is going to be C Latvian 2. And I know my port is a 1048. I'll make enable L2 handoff. The handoff is working on the 999 VLAN. Click save. And you will edit this handoff VLAN to the border. Now the border two is actually in the fabric. So right now, I'm most curious what has happened to my border two. So I'll first just show my interface, 40A. The 40A has become a trunk port. And VLAN 999 is added. And you will see there's a port associated with VLAN 999. Let's take a look. Actually, it doesn't exist. What if I show interface break? It appear to be border two's low back interface, and it appears to be a Lisp interface. So DNAC has added some Lisp configuration that show Lisp router. So DNAC has helped us add all of the list configuration for all of the VNs. We're now seeing all the VNs for control panel. And find instance 4100. Is will be the border two as a R lock. Now test PC. My test PC on VLAN 999 is getting an IP from CLAB VN2, which is 172.16.3.11. Back to my border 2, and I show IP root BIF CLAB BN2. And I know the client on the transition network is getting the IP 3.11. I know the IP is known via Lisp. And last update is on the VLAN 999. If that's the case, I want to know how the switch border 2 is going to handle the data panel.
So show IP load VRF show uh, show IP CF VRF will be C lab VN2 and want to know how the board 2 handles this IP. For the CEF, the board is going to send to the VLAN 999 to the traditional switch. And I know um, the board 1 is going to be the control node for all the edge. And what we want to know is how the board 2 is going to tell the board 1 as a control node. So show Lisp EID table. We have C lab VN2 IPv4 MAMP catch. For the IP pool, C lab VN2 is going to look for the ETR and it's going to send a MAMP request to the control node, which is border one. Now, I'm just very curious to know what border one knows. So show Lisp site. The border one knows this IP from the traditional network via the border two. It is 10.0.105, which is border two, the layer two handoff node border two. The, uh, low back interface and I want to know how border one will handle this information so show lisp eid table we have c lab vn2 ipv4 map catch for this client in the traditional network the layer two, one, sorry, the border one as a control panel is going to reply all of those requests. And to point it to the R lock, border two, which is 10.0.105, border two's low back interface. And for the exact data handling, so IP, CF, VRF, C lab VN2 172.16.3.11 is going to just send to the border 2 to handle. Just for you to curious to know what is Lisp 0 the one four one zero zero. So I show run interface. Four one zero zero list port interface is in the BIF forwarding table CLAB VN2. Now I know it's giving to the Lisp interface 4100. 4100 is gonna be in Lisp instance. So show run as instance ID 4100. Now I know. 4100 is is a, a EID table we have CLAB VN2 and it has a database mapping to the R lock for the for the subnet between the border one and border two. In this case, there will be the subnet between the board between the border 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 one and a border two will be this subnet and for now I want to know how this information for the IP pool to the R lock border two were spread out in the entire fabric so now I'm opening up the edge one I will have a lick instance I know it's 4100 and IP is 
So Edge 1 now knows to go to this host IP, I will go to the border 2. Now go to my Edge 2, show run as instance ID 4100. So the Edge 2 has this instance for the subnet. In the CLAP VN2, and it should have the information spread to the uh, border 2. Exactly our query to the, the client in traditional network for L2 handoff. It, uh, Edge 2 also knows how to go to the, the clients in the traditional network is to go to the border too. And we'll see the status is up. So my border two gotta be uh, knowing how to do the same thing. So show I would do, show run. That's instance ID 4100. It has the instance from the Lisp and our link instance ID 4100 and it just hand off this self to to the self. It's telling each but everybody to go to this client. Uh, uh, my border two where I handle itself. And on the data panel, IPCF, we have CLAP VN2. It's going to the final destination, VLAN 999.